Hi, everybody. This is Marilyn. Do we have any audio for this uh, right now? I'm hoping we may. We do. Thank you. Um, this is Marilyn, and it is time for the noon edition of Welcome to My World. This is the uh, second of May, and it's the first trading day of this month. So, happy new month, everybody. Um, I have not been able to trade uh, today, but I have monitored in and out um, what's going on. And, you know, I'm beginning to think we really knew, do need to do something about this, uh, this Maryland indicator because... Um, it it really did work last week. I there were just such nice trading days, and um, again today. So, and I have not been able to uh, trade. I'm I have to take care of a bunch of personal business right now. So anyway, I can't uh, stop myself from looking at what's going on. However, um. It looks like we've had these indices up and then down and then up and then down. Um, I see some really um, nice trades, not for a, a whole long trend exactly, but if you notice right now, all of the indices seem like they've bumped their heads and it's it's across the board. It's a little more obvious in TF. Uh, and ES today, maybe than the others. But when it goes on for ever, like two and three and four hours now, where it does not want to go higher. Uh, and then we have the VIX trading right now at 15.53, which is up a bit. It's not hugely up. Um, it it almost looks like these uh the whole the whole idea here of these indices is they're bunching themselves up for something and it might be a pretty good move down um mr drahi in europe <clears throat> he's the answer to um janet yellen for the europeans uh, spoke this morning also at 10 o'clock and right on target the dollar fell and the euro uh, correspondingly moved up significantly right with that so crude oil is uh, expressing its extreme displeasure with the Saudi boys today they've decided that they're not going to uh, cap their production in fact they might just increase it so uh, crude oil futures are saying, oh, that's not a good idea. So we'll see. Um, if, it, if it moves lower, the question is, how much lower will it move? And um, for trading, there was a, a, some beautiful trends this morning. There's one right here at uh, right at 9 o'clock. When you see an E, that's forming right around this um, settlement on any market. You can kind of expect it might fiddle around there because the bus driver really likes settlement. And all the bus drivers love settlement. But uh, once it decided to depart, this was um, a really nice move. Um, and there were several places to take profit in here if you were just after your 15 ticks or 10 ticks or whatever you were after. So, um, and that brings me to something else I wanted to mention today because Friday I talked about how with the new month, then you need to establish what your trading goals are for the month of May and how you're going to achieve that. And um, I want to make sure I was clear about this because uh, Daryl has a really, really good 5% rule, and he has a whole plan in that uh, on the Apex website, and I really encourage you to look at it and and take that and use it because it's it's absolutely excellent and it's mind-boggling how well you can do if you follow that. Um, 
to drill it right down to the nitty gritty, I was somebody had asked if they could make some amount of dollars, whatever it was, uh, this month. And if you decide that's what you want to do, then you need to back that up. Okay, that's a month. Then how much is that a week? And then how much is that a day? But at that point, that's where you drop the dollars and you and you deal solely in ticks, only solely in ticks. If you start trying to keep your um, uh, your chart trader or your dome or whatever you use in dollars, it gets real emotional. And I don't care who you are, ticks. What you're after is ticks, and you're you're depositing ticks in your tick bank. Uh, it'll all get converted to dollars later on. That's not the important thing. The important thing is ticks. How many ticks does it take in the one or two markets or whatever it is you trade? How many ticks does it take to get you where you want to go? And then you just set about what trades work the best to make that amount of ticks in those markets what's the best time to start looking for those trades. Um, you know, if you want to trade gold, uh, sometimes early in the morning is pretty good. Sometimes later in, real late in the afternoon, right around noon, right around this time, um, not so much. Tends to get choppy. Open outcry on gold closes at uh, 1.30. So keep that in mind also. It starts to drain the volume out of it. The um, currencies respond to news. So if you like to trade the Forex currencies, then you need to be a real news junkie about when the economic numbers come out. But it's it's you start with the end in mind. What do you want to have at the end of the month? And then you back that right up into how many ticks on how many trades do you need to do to get you where you want to go? And you're going to be surprised at how few ticks it takes, really and truly. If you mark your charts and, and seriously look for the kind of entries that are the most probable, this is a probabilities game. You want the highest probabilities and you want the probabilities stacked in your favor. That seems to take the emotion out of it, which is um, which is the the number one thing we all have to fight as uh, as traders. So anyway, uh, let's see. Tomorrow we're going to have for our wonderful news events. Let's see. Um, I don't know if any of you trade the six um, A. Or the the Audi dollar uh, cross the Australian dollar, but they're having significant significant news at 12:30 uh, a.m. Eastern time, and I I have not checked the news trades uh, trading tab on the website, but I strongly suspect that Daryl's got a trade set up. Uh, in there, or if it's not in there now, it will be later this afternoon. 4.30 in the morning is the British pound has significant news. But for all of us trading uh, the normal U.S. time, tomorrow's not really a big uh, news day for us, but those other ones, it is. So anyway... Um, I think that's about all I see. Brent has been selling off right along with uh, West Texas. We'll see if they get a stop put to that or they they decide to turn the bus around. So this has been my view from my world in Apex land, brought to you by Apex Investing. I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks. <laughs>